Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the five best TV speakers in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our five best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying TV speakers. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Number five, Samsung HWQ950T. The Samsung HWQ950T is the best soundbar. This premium and well-built 9.1.4 setup consists of a long bar, a wireless subwoofer, and two satellite speakers. If you're a film fan, this bar also supports Atmos, so you can get an immersive surround sound experience. It has a neutral and well-balanced sound profile, suitable for a variety of audio content. It can produce a boomy bass, which is especially good for sound effects. If you prefer a different sound, you can tweak it to your liking by using its graphic EQ and presets. It also supports eARC, so you can play high-quality lossless formats as well as object-based surround signals. It can pass through the highest quality signals, resulting in crisp and clear text on your screen. If you like to stream audio wirelessly, it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi compatible. Number 4. Nakamishi Shockwaf Ultra 9.2 If you want more than one subwoofer in your setup, check out the Nakamishi Shockwaf Ultra 9.2 CH. While its sound profile isn't as neutral as the Samsung HWQ95T, the Nakamishi comes with two wireless subwoofers and four satellite speakers. Thanks to this 9.2.4 setup, it's able to create an immersive audio experience that fans of Atmos content can really enjoy. While it doesn't come with a comprehensive EQ, there are presets as well as other features like dialogue enhancement, which can help improve the vocal clarity of your favorite TV shows or podcasts. On the downside, it doesn't support eARC, and you won't be able to wirelessly stream content from your phone to the bar using Wi-Fi. That said, there's a variety of physical inputs, including three full HDMI imports and aux port to help you connect to the bar. Number 3. JBL Bar 9.1 The JBL Bar 9.1 is the best 5.1 surround bar, and this impressive and well-built setup has a wireless subwoofer plus two wireless satellite speakers that can detach from the main bar and be placed around the room. The satellites are also advertised to have up to 10 hours of continuous playtime, although we don't currently test for this. Thanks to its well-balanced sound profile, it's suitable for a variety of audio content. Since it has a bit of extra thump, it's especially great for reproducing sound effects in your favorite action flicks. If you like to listen to podcasts or audiobooks, it also has an outstanding dedicated center channel that helps reproduce voices clearly and accurately. It has a full array of physical inputs, and it supports eARC as well as Dolby Atmos. It even supports 4K pass-through, and you can play your audio using one of several wireless options such as Bluetooth or Chromecast built-in. Number 2. Sonos Beam The Sonos Beam is the best small soundbar. The compact 3.0 setup can easily fit between the legs of most 55-inch TVs and shouldn't take up too much space on your table. While we don't currently test for it, you can even upgrade this bar down the line by purchasing a separate subwoofer and satellites. The soundbar is well-built and feels sturdy. It has a decently well-balanced sound profile with a touch of extra brightness, which makes it suitable for a variety of audio content. That said, it has a particularly neutral mid-range, so dialogue in your favorite TV shows or audiobook sounds clear and accurate. It also comes with a room correction feature, which helps improve its audio delivery to better suit the acoustics in your room. It can decently get loud, too, and has a great soundstage, especially for its small size. Number 1. Vizio V-Series V51H6 The Vizio V-Series V51H6 is the best budget soundbar. This versatile 5.1 setup comes with a subwoofer and two dedicated surround speakers that help create a more immersive listening experience. You can also stream audio wirelessly from your phone to the bar using a Bluetooth connection. Overall, it has a very neutral, balanced sound profile that's suitable for listening to lots of different audio content, and its subwoofer helps to add a little extra boom and punch to the mix. There are also four EQ presets to help you customize its sound to your liking, as well as bass and treble adjustments. This bar gets pretty loud, too, and doesn't have a lot to compression at max volume, which is nice. However, this versatile soundbar still offers a lot of bang for your buck. Now that we showed you the best TV speakers, let's talk about a few things that you should look for before buying one. There is a number of factors that play into deciding which soundbar you should buy. Size will likely be the most immediately prohibitive for most customers, you obviously need a soundbar that will suit your TV and space constraints within your entertainment console. And because the soundbar is one of the centerpieces of your home theater setup, it has to look good and fit stylistically. Then you have to factor in the size of the room you're dealing with. 
and distance viewers would typically be sitting from the TV. If you're dealing with a larger space, it's probably best to target soundbars that come with a subwoofer. You'll surely appreciate the extra bass. Ports and connectivity is crucial too, both in terms of wired and wireless access. Not every soundbar comes with an HDMI port. Some force you to make do with optical audio. That's perfectly fine if you want to use your TV as a pass-through, but those who are in dire need of more HDMI ports because their capacity is limited between game consoles, streaming boxes, and so on. We'll need to prioritize options that offer those additional connections. Finally, more and more of the best soundbars are embracing Dolby Atmos, which is surround sound technology designed to simulate the immersive 3D audio you'd get from a movie theater. The big difference between Atmos and traditional surround sound is that you'll hear sound move up and down and not just side to side, allowing you to get extra immersed when, say, a car flies overhead in an action movie.